Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday and I leave tomorrow to go back to college, which also means that I need to be prepped for this road trip. So not only am I packing today, but right now we're going to go get some snacks for said road trip so that I don't have to make as many stops because it's like a 10 hour long ride. So let's go have some fun, <laughs> shall we? Call time. Okay, so I want to food. Buffalo cauliflower bites, delight. Um, some pink lemonade electrolyte big drink mix because I've been using liquid IV, but like some of my friends are like every sleep pooping on them and being like they're not as good as they think you think that they are. So I got some pink lemonade one to try from the brand Ultima Replenisher. Um, and then every time I go, I have to get like the red bean little buns. I pop them in the microwave for like. 10 15 seconds and oh they're so good i got some dark chocolate sea salt caramels i will be cracking these open and trying one in just a moment and then i got a black raspberry Lacroix and a peppermint oat milk mocha delicious delightful i couldn't find i literally went because i wanted to get some almonds that i like had on the way here that were delightful they were like the blue diamond snickerdoodle almonds and they were so good i couldn't find them i was walking on the store for like 20 minutes like i was actually insane so there's that these chocolate caramels are so good they're like ten dollars so i rarely get them but they're so good anyways that's it for the haul the worst part about having to pack from being home is I didn't completely unpack when I came here. So it's like a disaster. So like I have a suitcase, a duffel bag, and a, a hamper. And then I have more in the laundry room currently getting washed as well. So I don't know how we got all of this stuff in one bag on the way in here. I don't know how I'm going to do that all the way back either. So... It's like this morning at 4, but I woke up and it's like blizzard conditions outside. So that's great. And my dad was like, I don't want you driving until the sun is up. So the sun is up now at 7.30. And I went to go like defrost my car, get all the snow and ice off my car, and my doors are iced shut. So we're not leaving <laughs> today. We're gonna leave tomorrow because the highways still aren't even open yet. So just a test run, I suppose. But now I'm like up early and I'm like, don't know how I'm gonna fall back asleep. Hey guys, update. Um, some of the highway has opened back up, but not like the part, not like the majority of it. So hopefully tomorrow morning it will be opened up. I've been checking it checking it regularly like as if it's like a package or something so fingers crossed that it'll be open i have like a little app on my phone that like tells me like the weather conditions and like what the roads are looking at like at each spot so also they have live streams and the live streams look like the roads look clear to me so i don't really know what we're waiting for like this always happens literally every time i go back to college for like a break or anything Every single time without fail, it like storms, like snowstorms, or like just regular storms. Like there was one time I was driving, there was like a severe weather storm. How pretty she is. Gorgeous girl. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Okay, because listen, maybe I was meant to see the sunset and that's why it didn't work out because you're telling me I would have missed this. Everything happens for a reason and I will stand behind that because this is one of the most beautiful sunsets I've seen in a fat minute. So pretty I came out here in my shorts. That's how you know it's real. Good morning. It's currently 
currently 418 and we're hitting the road. The cats are in the car with us. Clearly, we have a nice co host. Um, it's freezing to say the least. So, let's get on the road. I'm at my first rest stop to get some gas and then also some caffeine but the roads are so icy like okay anyways um indy's there the roads are just terrible so we're just doing our best but it's probably gonna take a five minute to get back to college so yeah i was not i was not playing when i said it was cold 17 degrees i got my caffeine and my water but oh my god why was that all full oh, I thought I was the oh i'm so cold we're getting, I think once I get past Salina, the snow will be like. There's a snow. It is currently 6.36 a.m. And I finally made it onto like the main highway. And there's finally like no ice or snow, not on wood. But like it's on the side, but they cleared it off really well. So I've just been like jamming out to my songs. I'm still tired. I feel like I saw my morning voice. Also, yes, I am wearing my glasses now. I was, okay, so here's the issue. I only have four days of contacts left. And I ordered some because on Monday I had like a doctor's appointment for it. And I ordered some, but they won't come for like two weeks. So I was wearing my old ones that are like the wrong prescription. And I was like, that's okay because as long as they fit, like they should be fine. I had them in my eyes for a fat minute, but long story short, they were bothering me. Like, they felt like they had something under them, but I kept like rinsing them and checking them and they didn't. So, we're rocking with the glasses for the rest of this ride, which honestly, like, I don't really care that much. Like, I love my contacts so much and I don't like having anything on my face, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And I'm doing what I gotta do. So, um, drive is good. Oh my god, when I tell you that it was icy, like, at my rest stop, oh my god, it was, like, a thick, like, two-inch layer of ice, like, across the entire road, and I'm in, like, a front-wheel drive car, so you can only imagine how that went. I was going, like, 15 miles per hour. I was supposed to get there at, um, 11. Now my ETA is noon, so you win some, you lose some. Unfortunately, we didn't win this one, but we'll get them next time. We'll get them next time, and that's all I got to say on that. And Miss Chuck is sitting on my lap. She's my passenger princess, except she's not my passenger princess. She's my co-pilot at this point. But she's sitting on my lap. She's basically driving as well. Hey, y'all. The sun is rising. We're finally going to have some daylight. I don't know if you can see. Sunrise. First sunrise of 2024, hard eyes. Um, we're getting close to halfway point, which is when I can stop for coffee more gas because yes this ride is a bad one for sure it's currently 7 19 a.m and you best believe that i'm having a great time and they just opened up this highway for the weather so all the truckers are out and about all the nomads such as myself are out and about and it's just a great experience Fresh snow and it was like 
Oh god, I felt like I was a fish swimming. And I'm in front, I only have front wheel drive. My car was like this, the entire time. The entire time, I, I don't think I went above like maybe 15 miles per hour. It was, it was terrible. I hated every single moment of it. Um, and I think that I need to reapply deodorant because I was sweating. Also, and then of course my co-pilot decides this is a great time for her to be looking out the window. So she's meowing in distress. And I'm like, girl, I do see that. Like I'm seeing what you're seeing and I'm also stressed about it. Like we do not need to like, Okay, so my car is filled up with gas now. Thank heavens. And I'm pretty sure all the bad weather and roads should be behind us at this point. And I did say that last time and I did jinx it, but hopefully this time it's for real. Um, the, I checked like the road weather app or like road conditions map and it was it was, it was saying it was fine. So fingers crossed. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and mobile order a coffee. Also, yes, I did take off my glasses cause I didn't want to look like a goober walking in there. Cause like imagine me wearing pink glasses at pink, like, like they know I like pink at that point. Like it's just a little much. Got the goods. Oh my God. Hello everybody, the current time is 11.28. We have changed time zones. And I have roughly an hour-ish left in my, basically ended up being like a nine and a half hour drive, which is beautiful for me. Um, and we're like, we're home stretch right now. We're home stretch. So life is good, cats are doing good, roads are good. We're good. Everything's fine. Um, I'm just listening to an audiobook for a little bit and then I listen to some music. Um, just kind of like interchangeably. One of my biggest pet peeves from on the road is people that are in the fast lane that don't, that have no need to be in the fast lane. Like, I don't understand why this person is in the fast lane. They also have an antenna that is, like, legitimately 10 feet tall. It is absolutely insane, honestly. I'm ready to be back in my apartment, be showered, be clean, just to be able to, like, relax because it needs some good food. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just need, I need to go grocery shopping too. I'm probably just gonna do that tomorrow because. Most likely I'm gonna have nothing to do tomorrow as well. Hey guys, so I got back like roughly an hour ago or so. And obviously my cats did too. You can't tell. Um and I've showered since then and I changed into some comfy clothes. So I put on like these sweatpants that my brother left at my apartment when he was visiting me because I'm not gonna see him till spring break. So I'm like, I'll just keep him until then. Um and then my KU sweatshirt, rock chalk baby. And I, total duration of the drive ended up being roughly 10 hours. I think it was like nine hours and 45 minutes, which is a really long time to be in the car, personally at least. But yeah, so I left my house at four a.m. and I arrived here at 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. But that's two at home because of the time difference. So, I've pretty much unpacked all of my things except for like my shirts and stuff I still need to put away. But other than that, like most of my stuff, thankfully I've already put away and I'm just resting before I go hang out with one of my friends. So, thank you guys so much for watching my road trip um, and keeping me company while on said road trip. And I will see you guys next Monday. For another video. Bye, love you.